Hi and welcome to my tutorial on ASP.NET. I'll be using C, C Sharp and today I'll be talking about cookies. Um, I've created a new ASP.NET empty web application. I've entered a web form with a label one, text box one, and button one. Uh, first we're going to want to import our namespace using system.net. Now we're going to want to go to the page load event and uh, create our variable for our cookie, HTTP cookie, I'll call it cookie, equals request, that cookies, bracket preferences, I'm going to call it a statement, if cookie, is null and we want our label one to display that there is no data in this cookie. Label one dot text equals keep bold tag unknown customer. Else, if the cookie is not null, we want to display the data that we saved in that cookie, which will be a uh, customer's name. Maybe one dot text equals bold tag uh, by cookie found. Put a few white spaces in there. Also, label one that text equals put a welcome, welcoming uh, text on there, and then add the name of the cookie. Now we're going to want to go to our button click event. We're going to check uh, check for a cookie and create one only if one does not exist already. So HTTP cookie cookie close request that cookies bracket preferences. Cookie is no. Cookie is no. Cookie equals new. HTTP cookie <coughs> preferences. The name equals textbox one dot text. Cookie expires. Let's say a year from now. Date time. Dot now. Dot add years. One. Response. Dot cookies dot add cookie label one dot text equals bold tag cookie created and a bold tag. A 
go one dot text equals oops, plus equals new customer plus quick name. Um, run this. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we are close. Now, cookies are a good way to store information um, for later use. Uh, it will be small file, files that are created in the web browser's memory uh, if they are temporary, or they will be stored on the hard drive if they are uh, permanent. So let's go ahead and create a customer, call it customer1, create the cookie. You can see our cookie has been created. Let's stop that, run it again. And it should find our cookie and display our name, customer1. As you can see, it does welcome customer1. So advantage of cookies are that they work transparently without uh, the user being aware that the information needs to be stored. Also, uh, they can easily uh, be used on any page in your application, even be retained between visits, as you just saw. Um, so this allows for long-term storage. Uh, they're limited to simple string information, and they're easily accessible and readable if the user finds and opens the corresponding file. Uh, for that reason, it's a poor choice to put complex or private information um, in these cookies. Also, some users will disable cookies on the browser, uh, which can cause problems for web applications that require them, our users might manually delete them. Um, so that also could cause a problem, but for the most part, cookies are accepted and uh, used on many websites. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me.